Hey guys, it's Darlene from Sitting for Carrots, and today we're talking about DIY uh, dishwasher detergent. Now, confession time, this is one thing I actually have not switched over from the store brands, and I'm still using something that's super terrible, really chemical laden, and I've been researching this for a long time, and I keep finding uh, recipes that are really complicated, there's lots of ingredients, um, so on and so forth, and then there's a couple that I've tried that haven't worked. So back to the drawing board, um, I just found a video recently of one of the YouTube channels that I follow, I'll link it below, uh, for a very, very easy homemade uh, dishwasher cleaner. So I'm going to try that today and I'm gonna take you guys through the process to see if it works, so let's get started. So it's really easy. It is one cup of baking soda. So we're gonna do one cup of baking soda. And this is a two cup measuring cup, so I'm thinking I'll just put a cup of baking soda and then I'll put, um, fill the rest of it with the super washing soda, which the, is the other part of this. So we're almost there. Almost a cup. That looks like about a cup. So one cup baking soda. Okay, I have Arm & Hammer, although there are much better ones out there. You know, you gotta use what you have or use what you can find. So I will be looking online for a uh, organic version. This is the Super Laundry, our Laundry Booster Super Washing Soda. And it does not wanna pour. Good Lord, I'm gonna have to tear this open. There we go. All right. So, I'm not, you know, super exact about measurements. This is two cups, uh, about half baking soda, about half the super washing soda. So, this is the baking soda. Okay, this is Arm & Hammer, like I said. And then I don't know if another brand actually makes the super washing soda, but this is also by Arm & Hammer, and this is the other half. And then I'm also gonna use um, a Young Living, actually two Young Living essential oils in the recipe. So I'm just gonna put that in this bowl in front of me. And we are going to put in bergamot. I'm gonna do about seven drops of that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. <laughs> Bergamot pours really fast and I forget every time and overdo the drops, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna do uh, seven drops of lavender because why not do your dishes, have the dishwasher running and have something that's gonna calm the house down, right? And this will make my puppies nap. So seven of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we just stir it up so that the essential oil goes throughout. And then according to the instructions on the video that I watched, um, she said to do two tablespoons of this per cycle. Now she did make a really good point. We rinse our dishes off before we put them in the dishwasher, um, and so her experiment you know was based on that and you know your water could be hard it could be soft there could be all kinds of factors that go into it so okay i've got it mixed up so let's go into the kitchen and see how it works let's do two tablespoons we're gonna do one and then one more and this is our baking soda and super wash soda formula. And two. Okay, so that did not work. Um, it cleaned my dishes, but there were white spots and there was a white film all over my dishes. So I actually ran it again and it was just as bad and it didn't take the white uh, film off. So I did some more research and we we're gonna actually add to the recipe that we already made. So remember there was one cup of the super washing soda and then there was one cup of the baking soda. So I did some more research and I found Lemmy Shine, which uh, contains 
What does it say? Real fruit acids and natural citrus oils. So this is natural from what I've researched. Again, do your own research, but um, so we're gonna add this and then we're gonna also add Epsom salts. Now this is a recipe that's borax free. I've never actually used borax, but I know that a lot of people are sensitive to borax and a lot of people try to look for borax free uh, recipes. So because I'm so sensitive, I've just never even tried to do anything with bor borax. So what we're going to do is we are going to add one cup of the Epsom salt. So let's do that. So one cup, so we're adding a cup, and then we're going to add two thirds of a cup of the Lemmy Shine. So this is what is supposed to get any of the water spots or the white film off of the dishes. So two thirds of a cup. Okay, so we are going to pour that in and then I'm just going to stir it up and then we're going to go back into the kitchen um, and remember there were some essential oils in here. I did bergamot and lavender. Uh, so we're going to go back into the kitchen and we are going to see how this works. I'm hoping this new formula works better. It's also going to be two tablespoons, just like the last time. So there's one, and there's two. I'm going to close the little door, and let's try it again. So here are the results. So I set the dishwasher to do a regular washing cycle. So I didn't do a quick wash, and I didn't do like a super crazy um, I think it's called the super wash cycle. So I just did a regular old cycle. It took right about an hour and I am so happy to tell you guys it worked. Okay. So you can see there's no water spots. It's perfectly clear. I wanted to make sure that I, um, showed you something that it was really clear that, you know, the dishes turned out really clean. So I'm going to go ahead and write up a blog post for this. Uh, along with the recipe and just kind of the research that I did and uh, the results. Um, let me know if you guys make this, what you think about it, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.